Hello my family and welcome. In this video today I'm going to be talking about my psilocybin experience that I had. It's been my second ever psilocybin experience and it went on on the 22nd of March of this month, so three days ago. And yeah, stay tuned if you want to hear about my experience with the Nature Collective as they came through the mushroom. Much love to you all. The other part to this that I would like to talk about today is my psilocybin experience that I had. I had 8 grams of uh, a particular type of mushroom called Enigma, but it was also mixed with other mushrooms that I received from a friend. And yeah, it's it was a profound experience. So really the, really the highlight for me was the whole... <laughs> finding myself feeling like I'm in an embryotic state. This was my second ever experience. And this time, because I did more, I had even more of an intense experience. And I just found myself kind of like in this kind of embryotic state where it's almost, it almost felt like I was receiving a hug from Mother Earth herself. Because of course the mushrooms represent the nature collective and Earth herself. So yeah, it was incredibly healing. It was, I had, Throughout the entire duration, I had tears welled up in my eyes. Not actually like falling or streaming tears, but just like, just welled up in my eyes the entire time. They never actually dropped. But it was kind of like this overwhelming sense of compassion. And like I had, I, f I could feel God's love. Only a sliver of it, because with any human being, or pretty much any physical being, if we, if we had all of God's love within us, like our physical body would not be able to hold that, would not be able to contain that, uh, but I could feel, I could feel it, and it was super healing, I also had an ego death as well, <laughs> it was, <laughs> vocabulary would be coming into my mind, like the word thing, and I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the mushrooms were saying, like, we're just going to remove this whole mental stuff you've got, all of this stuff you've learned, and we're just gonna completely put you in your feeling body now. <laughs> and it was it was awesome. And yeah, I had some emotions come up, but not so much. They were kinda of like bubbling in me. It was like this kind of this throb. And really I was so busy and occupied kind of experiencing all the different aspects of the experience, uh, that I didn't give as much time to the actual like emotional healing aspect for what was coming up. Interesting thing about this as well is I wanted to experiment because I'd heard of so many people having interesting results experimenting with such things as like ayahuasca, DMT, uh, mushrooms as well, plant medicine in that way, and being able to have extreme profound um, insights into themselves. But the thing is as well that I want to say here is of course, and when it comes to emotional healing, you do not need any of this stuff to be able to move past your shadows, to be able to move past your trapped emotions, your traumas. Meditation really is gonna get you the same results as any plant medicine can. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there and make that a point as well. But yeah, the main thing as well for me was like having this ego death I came to this point of empowerment, like, through that process of bringing more love to myself as well, going inward, and just realizing, like, I've put chains on myself, <laughs> you know, my entire life, for multiple lifetimes, actually. Many of us have, through fear of rejection. And I'm not the only one who's got massive fear of rejection. It's one of the three core human traumas. I'll say it like this, in that way, like, I'm not the only one. Why am I saying that? Yeah, I'm being defensive. No, it's true. I am holding. It may, my main trauma is rejection, and so and then and then abandonment, and they kind of go very hand in hand, usually. But yeah, and of course for me, manifesting that like rejection trauma has been. Uh, 
for example, <laughs> I can look at my astrological chart and I know the astrological chart is only, of, it only really shows like a very small kind of aspect of yourself on the whole, but it can still point to some really interesting things. So for example, for me, I have Chiron in the 10th house. Chiron represents unhealed wounds and the 10th house represents career and public image. So for example, me making this video right now, like I'm feeling really good about it because I'm in a much higher level of empowerment than I ever have been. But throughout my journey over the past few years, yeah, it's like, you know, I'd write posts to, to post on social media and delete it all, for example, uh, or just not feel ready to share it. Or like another one is, uh, or, or recording a video and just not sharing it because I'm afraid of being that vulnerable because I'm afraid of what people will think of me. I'm afraid of receiving negative feedback. I'm afraid of, of fear itself and of ultimately of death because that's all that it is. But working with this, I've been able to love myself more and it's really unleashed me and so that's what I found when I did the mushrooms I had something that I was going to say it was really good but the other aspect the other aspect to this whole rejection thing as well is like you know many people were savvy to how for example the Facebook algorithms work so little bit of marketing advice for people as well here is for me personally I know that when I want to share something on social media I want it to be seen by as many people as possible and I know that's generally true for everyone, right? Like, why wouldn't you? I mean, oh, of course, some people just want to share it to, you know, to their friends. But for me, I know I just want to get it in front of as many people as possible so I can have the most impact and to help people as much as I can. And so, of course, you know, over the past number of years, many of us have learned how the Facebook algorithm works, how to get the most out of your posts and like, so posting once or twice a day and you know interacting with everybody that comments or likes your post for example and sharing it the more interactions on a post the better and the more it will show it to people on the algorithm on the on the feed and that's been a thing for me it's like i would limit myself so much by like right i'm only going to share this this content i'm only going to share once or twice a day to make the most out of my my available quota that i have you know now, that's all well and good, but at the same time, there's been so many times when I've wanted to share something, but I've stopped myself because I have put that limit in place. <laughs> and it's, I'm moving past that belief system now. I know it's really good and it's really valuable if there's something that I want to, if there's something specific that I want people to see because I know that it will be really good and gives a lot of value then yeah I'm gonna like share it and then not share anything else around the timing of it for you know a number of hours or whatever give it half a day or a day or something like that but I'm also feeling like I just want to take these chains off as well it's it's just unnecessary if I'm feeling inspired to share something there's so much content that's gone past me over the years now that I haven't shared because of XYZ and it's or fear of rejection and so I've, I'm done with that I really am just done with these prior versions of myself this weak version of myself that has been because this version of myself is yeah he's, he's uh, <laughs> I'm not here to big myself up I don't need to I just feel what I feel and that's all I need so <laughs> yeah <laughs> And what happened was, was like, through these realizations, it was when I did the mushrooms a couple of days ago, three days ago, just this opening up within myself, stepping into this new level of power and just realizing like, hey, it's okay to start doing what you came here to do now. It's okay to start stepping up and sharing yourself and expressing yourself just like I am right now. And I'm loving this. This is beautiful. This is this is a message I've wanted to get out for a long time now. Like, for example, my grandparents didn't know I smoked weed for the past 15 years, but I told them last year, and that was a weight off my shoulders. And now I feel like I can share it on here, and they're not just going to stumble across the information um, without 
it coming direct from me, for example. One mm -hmm. of the little belief system that I've conquered in that way. And now even talking about psilocybin and stuff, that's a whole other level. <laughs> but again, it's me. This is authentic to me and my path. And it's helping people because there's a lot of inspiration to be had here, you know. There's many that have inspired me, and so it's my turn to inspire many others as well. Now, <laughs> hmm. good, 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 good. Yeah, this is a good video. I'm really happy with this one. So yeah, I'm taking off the chains. I'm aligning to what God wants me to do, what her himself, the most high itself, wants me to do. Because God is me, God is you, God is everyone. God is everything. So, and I'm letting that work through me. I'm letting that spirit of the Most High just use me as a tool. God, just use me as your tool. I am free and I'm available for that. And I know that you want me to be of service. I know you want me to help people and be of service and serve and give. And yeah, I'll receive in like kind. I'm not doing it to receive at this point. It's, yeah, that's going to happen. That's natural and it has to be that way. But we came, many of us came here to help with this mother that we have underneath our feet right now. She needs us and we need us. So let's work together and make it happen. So I'm really glad that I could get this off my chest, like psilocybin, quitting smoking, quitting weed, explaining all of that. It's like, poor release. It's like another chain has just been taken off. <laughs> One more video will now get made because of this. <laughs> Many more videos will now get made because of this. Let's start getting it out there. Let's start spreading love. Let's start helping. Let's start empowering. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love you. I love you. I love all of creation. As much as the capacity I have to love all of creation is. So, thank you. <laughs> thank you for tuning in, and thank you for being a part of this, and thank you for listening to me. Thank you for listening to yourself. Infinite blessings. And may you have a brilliant week.